London has been shaped by free trade. Driven by exploding output from the Industrial Revolution, London became an industrial powerhouse and its port in the Docklands area a roaring trade hub. Adam Smith was the first to advocate for free markets and free trade because of his belief that it results in extra unintentional benefits through a mechanism he refers to as the invisible hand. This phenomenon is illustrated in Paul Seabright's The Company of Strangers, where Seabright describes the lack of overall coordination between the many firms required to produce t-shirts resulting nonetheless in a functioning system. Each worker's tunnel vision within their firm, where they focus on their own personal gain, allows for efficient allocation of resources on a global scale. Smith advocated for free trade instead of the government-enforced monopolies of his time. The East India Company was one of these, and its headquarters stood on Leadenhall Street in the city of London until 1861. At the time, the government believed it needed to intervene and artificially maintain a trade surplus in order to achieve growth. Smith opposed this mercantilism. Instead, he said that free trade could help by exporting surplus goods and importing others at more competitive prices than available domestically. In modern times, the exporting of our financial services all over the world is one of the reasons why London City is such a worldwide success. In Smith's time, exporting only became possible due to the immense productivity gains during the Industrial Revolution, largely as a result of his own ideas on specialization. In particular, division of labor allowed for the most noticeable gains in efficiency, as each worker becomes an expert in one area of production, entailing their ability to do their job better than if they were, as Smith said, a jack of all trades. Today, different areas of London specialize in different industries. The city focuses on finance, Piccadilly focuses on shopping, and South Kensington focuses on museums, just to name a few. David Ricardo took Smith's ideas of specialization to a global scale by introducing the theory of comparative advantage. This is the idea that some countries produce goods at a lower opportunity cost to others, and by using this, global trade can easily be boosted. Ricardo lived in London and was heavily involved in the Political Economy Club, which met to discuss principles of political economy and still meets today at Brooks Club here in London. However, Smith and Ricardo's legacy of ever-going free trade is under threat the rise of protectionism in the form of Brexit and Donald Trump's policies. As such, free trade versus protectionism will no doubt become the defining debate of the next generation.